Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos. Welcome to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be going over how to install the Gaselli Ergi M4A1 in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. This mod right here is probably, without a doubt, the best gun mod I've ever seen because it comes with a PEQ flashlight combo with a pressure pad on it and the Ergi handguard with the Ergi charging handle and it also allows for the T2 and um, the LPVO scope to go on to it seeing as the m4 didn't have these options for attachments you know vanilla either way this gun right here is just absolutely amazing bro i love it and I'll show you guys how to install it so first off you guys want to go over and download the file find which one you want and download that sucker then once you guys got that um assuming you guys got the pre-september uh, 20th patch files put in if you don't you're going to want to go over to nexus and download this as well i will go ahead and show you guys how to install those because that is a big issue a lot of people run into when trying to mod breakpoint is they don't realize we have to have those files thanks to a patch that ubisoft did a while back anyway so what we're going to do first is we're going to go over here and open up containing folder right click anywhere in anvil open containing folder Okay, and then we're going to go find uh, data PC patch 01 forge and data PC resources patch 01 forge, and we're going to delete those. Data PC patch 01 forge right here. Go ahead and delete that. And then delete data PC resources patch 01 forge. Then we're going to open up the pre forge files. Go highlight that and just drop, drop them in there. That simple. And once you do that, we're going to re I'm going to show you guys what we do next and this will allow your game to be able to be modded so refresh that close that we're going to go over here refresh anvil after you did that and now you're just going to need to unpack and repack the files you put in so that way you create an extracted folder within anvil so we're going to go data pc pass 01 forge you could either double click that automatically up um op uh, unpacks it and then press the up arrow right click and repack you'll notice up here this right here tells you if your files are successful tells you when they're unpacking and reading them that was successful all right now we're going to go to data pc resources patch or one forge and unpack that hit the up arrow and repack now what this does is it creates the extracted folder in your Anvil toolkit and allows you to be able to mod the game. But also these files are uh, patch, uh, before Ubisoft's patch and thank God somebody uploaded them to Nexus because without it, we would have had to find a whole different way to mod the game. All right. So now that those are open, you see this is our extracted folder right there. Now we're going to get on to installing the weapon. Okay, these are my um, ergi files right here, but what I'm going to do is we're going to open up that so you got your zip folder right there. Same files, uh, data PC patch 01 forge, data PC patch extra 01 forge, data PC resources patch 01 forge, and DB container entry. So this is where this mod gets a little bit tricky, is we're going to need to open one um, file or folder and then open another one within it. And then repacking them in the right order is very important. So we're going to go right here. And we need to unpack data PC patch extra 01 forge. That's right here. Unpack that. Go back up. Now we're going to open up data PC patch 01 forge first. And then within that, you got DB, C, or DB container entry folder. We need to open that. See right here, deserializing writing files. Oh, 
This one is taking quite a while. All right, now it's successfully written. So now we're gonna open up the containing folder for that one. And then go to your mod, open up those folders and you're gonna wanna drop those in here. So I like that and drop those into DB. Replace the files when asked. Hit refresh and close that. Back to Anvil, refresh, hit the up arrow and repack a container folder. You need to repack this one before you pack Reforge, otherwise it will crash your game. So doing this part first is very important. All right, now we're gonna go batch repacked, back up. All right, now we're in data PC pack 01 Forge. We're just gonna open the containing folder here as well. And now we're gonna go back over to our mod and find our data PC pack 01 Forge. For, uh, data PC pack 01 Forge. Forge folder. I'm sorry. Shit. Repeating that so many times, it's starting to get like a tongue twister. Highlight and drop. Refresh. Close. Anvil. Refresh. Hit the up arrow and then repack data PC patch 01. successfully written forge file so next we're going to go ahead and do the we'll do extra why not right let's just do extra right here data pc patch your own forge extra open that right click open containing folder replace files refresh and close Refresh right here, back up, and let's repack extra. Wait for it to say right here, successfully written forge. There we go. Now we're going into the resources folder. Find the file that says resources in your mods. And this one is a big one, so I would select one and then hit control A, which will automatically select them all click and drag and same thing refresh and close refresh up arrow and repack and that was successfully written so our Gaselli mod is or Ergi mod is officially in there we will go in there and check it out in just one second so um all right hope you guys are enjoying the video so far next i'm going to show you guys how to install the rc2 suppressor real quick so that way you have a complete mil sim setup right the rc2 suppressor just goes with the gun i feel like and so it's important for me to use that mod All right, so we're gonna go up here. I'm gonna go to mod categories. I mean, sorry, download history. Paintable Surefire Suppressor Pack. This is what you're gonna to wanna to download. So, you should download that. Yeah, where did I put that suppressor at? Oh, well, I'll just find it in my files. Oh, it's right here. All right, so they give you one for the uh, Prism. If I, uh, SOCOM Mini 556, and they give you one for the Hive suppressor SOCOM five by six so we're gonna go ahead and all right 
right, so for this one, we need to... All right, for this one, we're going to go ahead and open up the Data PC Resources Pack 01 Forge. Oh, wait, hold on. Right click, open containing folder. And then we're going to drop the control A again. Whenever it's a huge file like that, or a lot of different files, I just control A, drop it back up. High suppressor, control A, drop it. Now we got both the suppressors in there. We're going to go ahead and refresh that and close this. Close this down. And then we're going to refresh the anvil back up and repack resources successfully written all that's next is to go into the game and check everything out let's do it all right you guys now we're here in breakpoint let's check out the gun so it looks like everything worked Look at that. That is the perfect M4A1 RD, bro. That mod right there is so sick, dude. Dude did a great job on it. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to paint the suppressor real quick. Might as well do that before we end the video, right? But if you guys enjoyed the video and just want to hop off now, dude, you guys are more than welcome for that. If you guys did enjoy it and found it helpful, a like rating would be super appreciated, guys. You know, helps me grow the channel and shit. So anyway, here um, with this, you're going to need to you notice in the menu, you don't have your combo on here. The flashlight and pressure pad replace the um, laser, the three, the uh, ATP aisle laser, the antipile, whatever. I don't know how the fuck you pronounce that. It replaces that laser. So make sure you get it. And then the PEQ comes um, with the mod. All right. So to change the suppressor. Color, you're going to need to go to your assault rifle suppressor and change that paint. So, say I want it to be, uh, let's just say we want it to be ATAC. All right, so now that suppressor is ATAC, go back over here and switch to that, and then you're back to your uh, hive. Then that's uh, painted. That's how you change your suppressor to make it a painted suppressor. Even though I'm going to put it back to Coyote Brown because Ajax just looks weird as hell with this gun. But I was just doing it to show you guys how it's done. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Catch you on the next video.